telomeres and their function two ends of the chromosomes they are called as telomeres telomeres they are required for the replication of the chromosomes at the ends as well as telomeres they are also required for the stability of the chromosomes if the telomeres they are damaged then the damaged telomeres they can attach to the broken ends of the other chromosomes because the broken ends they can attach with other broken ends of the chromosomes so we can say that the stability of the chromosomes is due to the proper functioning or proper stability of the telomeres if we take the example of the telomeres they are like the endings of the shoe strings in case of shoe strings they are punched they are packed and they do not allow to the threads so that the threads of the shoe strings they can open same is the function of the telomeres they function exactly like the shoe strings telomeres are made of unique repeated dna sequences in case of this example we can note that there is a repeated sequence of double g double g and double t this sequence will again repeat double g double g and double t and third time this sequence will again repeat double g double g and double t it mean the sequence of the telomeres is made up of specific sequences and there is repetition of those specific sequences telomer repeat sequences have been isolated and have been characterized from several several species here in this case we can see the repeat sequence of different species in case of arabidopsis thaliana the repeat sequence is triple t a and triple g while in case of humans the repeat sequence of telomeres is double t a and triple g while in case of oxy trica the sequence is double t double t double g and double g like is in case of slime mold tetrahymena as well as trypanosoma how the telomeres are replicated here is the example that how telomeres are replicated here is the example of the template sequence of telomer that is double t double g and double g during the first step hairpin is created like hairpin is created and rna polymerase is added here is the rna primer rna primer will bind to the template sequence at the second phase hairpin will be extended and rna primer will be removed here we can see that the hairpin is extended and while the rna primer which was at this location that has been removed during the third step after the removal of the rna primer the gap is filled and during the fourth step hairpin is removed ultimately this hairpin is removed and dna has been replicated mean the telomer of the chromosome has been replicated so what we can conclude that telomer telomeres they are the protective caps at the ends of the chromosome they are necessary for the replication of the ends of chromosome as well as they are also necessary for the stability of the chromosomes